see Dewey here under something in the car. So, let's turn around and see. Crank it. No, no, no! It's not going to work. Fuck you! Let's turn it off. Let's <laughs> You don't say that. He's been on film. That's where it's worth. Yeah, he's filming. As long as you put that other part, leave it back in the shelf there. Yeah. You guys do a shuffling, I shovel ten times, and that's it. That's it. That's it. No more for me. Ten times. Are you done shuffling there, Joy? How many times? Go. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You did give me these words, though. Tell her what she's doing. Four. Who's bending these cards? Is that you, Darren? They come back all four of them. I don't like. See if you like those. If you don't like them, we'll change. You like those? Okay. Oh, good. Look at this. Darren, get down a little bit. Darren. Oh, who shuffled those cards? You better shuffle those more. Fuck. Are we going? Go. Come on! <laughs> Being nice. Yeah. <laughs> that damn minute, she's faster than a speed of bullet. Wait, where's this two go? Jeez, if it's... I can't wait for you to... <laughs> lift them up. Sorry. <laughs> These are weird ones. <laughs> oh, I gotta move here. Yeah, it's fine. Ah, oh, shoot. Who's got the eight of spades? Who's got the eight of hearts? Me? Ah, oh, shoot. Can't play for blood. Fuck yeah. It's our way to play. You're we playing Swiss Guns. Hey, I only have four cards out here. Wish I could move mine. Mood. Damn, Darren. <laughs> okay, what's going on up here? That glare is just killing me. Don't tell us. He wants us to look. Where's the seven of... Oh, damn. Can I put that... Oh, I got the eight sitting right here. Now you tell me. Oh. Jeremy James McGruger. <laughs> now, there is a glare on that screen. I mean, on there that is, table. It is. On the screen? That's right. terrible. Why turn that light off? I think it did. Oh. How's that? No, I can't, no, I can't see nothing. I can see great. <laughs> He's got good eyes. Friggin' fragments. Ah, oh, shoot. Mother. Mother flesh. You gotta have it either on or off. It can't go both ways. Let's They're gonna go blind. I can't see. No. I keep a track of anything. I can't see anything. Everything's everything's coming off to the top of me. <laughs> Josh. I can't see. I can't play with that fucking one. I haven't got the whole deck yet here. <laughs> you know what? Sean. Bummer. I ain't got that. <laughs> Holy shit. Sean. Now that granny's going to face. Oh, I gotta take this out. Hold it. Time out. Okay. Jennifer. Where's the ace at? <laughs> huh? <laughs> right here. It's in here. It's in here. <laughs> All right. I guess that's everything. Okay, now you go. There's so another ace, guys. We go away. Okay, just saying what you're doing here. We're sorting the cards. Oh, okay. Start it again. What a mess. Come on, Mike. Darren, kick that king out. Oh, okay. What's out? <laughs> Everybody, what are you thinking? Hi, really? Oh. oh, I'll add two cards in there anyway. I'm almost done. I got. I did terrible. Two. <laughs> I got eight. Bluey. Five. He said bluey. I had two in there. I was about ready to say bluey. I did terrible. Bluey. I did terrible. Okay, I have to subtract two out of mine. Track two? Two. Okay, Sean. Game three? Or game two? Any more? Do you want me to help?
What if you could put that light somewhere else? Game 32. Could you put it down on that <laughs> that thing? Maybe would help. Way down there. That's what I was thinking. We're down there. Try it, Sean. Put that light down on Kay. that paper and see. Get to see the winner is first. It is bright up there. Pick your cards, Ash. Oh, I should crack my eight and I don't have anything. <laughs> One. I already put my two. I got three. Three. Don't beat you. I got eleven. Nineteen. Is that right? Nineteen. Is that right? Two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, Sound. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Record for nineteen. No, I had twenty. It's not a record, time. but. Well, close to it. Otherwise, you better. Like, say. That's damn good for a seventy-year-old. Sean, right? Sean, you stick in here now. Or Jennifer, you want to play? Yeah, Jennifer's going to oh, play. There, no, what good does it do? It does <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay, bite. Isn't it? God, you see? Is that going to stay there right now without falling? Anywhere? He didn't bend it. He wrecked the top of it. Now Darren's going to show him? Yeah. Hi, Darren. Darren. P2. Woo. <laughs> I don't think it's going to come in very clear. Is this going to come in very clear? Yes, it will. Watch I'm father. What? It doesn't look like it. What's the matter? I don't think it's going to come in very clear. I won that one. There, you can focus that part. How? I already did. It's already focused. To your eyes? Yeah, to your eyes. Focus it to your eyes. That little thing you turn. How much on it? My power, you can. You have to stop for that. All right. What we could do is put the fan on the furnace if you want. <gasps> I don't want it to get too cold in here. Yeah. Oh. Put the fan on the furnace. Say when. Doesn't matter. It's gonna get hot. When? Wait, now let's make sure these are at the right angle. Are they? We have plenty of room up there. Let's try out so many. Okay, ready? Ready? Go. Go. Well. Excuse me. I gotta check the light bulb. Bad out of H. I'm gonna point this thing around right here. No, Jeremy, don't touch it, please. Just leave it there. Don't move it, right, Linda? Don't move that light. Yes. Please don't hit Jeremy. Jeremy, leave it alone. I'll make it warmer in here. Just don't worry about it, anything, okay? Yourself. Nah, sit there and watch you put it up. Oh, 
Jennifer? Oh, shoot, four, three, five, seven, no. oh. nine, twelve, <coughs> nine, two, four, eight, nine, ten, ten, jack. Jack. Ten. 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 I had this one I couldn't get rid of this one. Everybody say Louie. Drive me crazy. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, now here we are playing Bluey here with all these Bluey mad players. Dad? And this is the right Peter. There. Hey, Dad. Huh? Dad. That's right. That's right. Dad. Oh, look at you. Dad. What, Jeremy? I got all red. No wonder I'm so sweaty. Oh, you little stinker. Ready? Don't do the thing, okay, Dad, because it gets really boring. On your marks. What? It gets really boring. So, no, it doesn't. It's we have no, to watch the face expressions. It's like killing people playing chess, okay? There's Jennifer. Concentrating. Look at those hands move. <laughs> Look at her hands. Look at that cute little face. Oh, you're looking at me? Look at those hands. Here's Linda. She's faster than a speeding bullet. Off the exercise. That cooling is fucking oh, feels good. So good. Don't stop. <laughs> what? Oh. You're gonna be so tired, you won't be able to walk tomorrow. There's Granny Pooh. Come on, Granny. Can't you be nice? This is Grandma Marge. Granny Pooh. 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 The prize is a. Uh, I got you, Jennifer. Wipe your nose all the time. Oh, my nose is running. <laughs> God, I got one up there. And there's old Shiny Mike. He's trying his best here, he's competing with these old ladies. <laughs> you ate the hearts up there anymore, kid? I'll oh, see those hand hey, movements. Here's the heater. <laughs> Oh, there it is, Jennifer. You're just... 
Couldn't get that. Oh. Oh. Man, Look at those cards moving. That feels good. Oh, it feels flushy. I'll stay right up there. For DG. Coughing his heart out. <laughs> there it is on the roof. <laughs> Linda Birdie. I'll stir my heat up. I think you're right. Come on, have one more card back. Don't put anything in there. Are you serious? Oh, no. 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 Oh, Grandma. Oh, I did that. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. I'll take yours out. I can remember. What? Time out. Time out. Yeah. Time in. Time in. Whatever Sean says. Oh, boy, these cards are terrible. Boy! I'm glad it's over. And Linda Blueweed. I have one left. Yeah, I'm just getting high blood pressure attack. Your face turned red. <laughs> <laughs> well, I took it for so long. Six, uh, Jeremy. Yeah? I've got six on my pile. Remember six? Yeah, you got 66 now. Put them right here. It's not even him. Says. Five, Go ahead. 5.15. Ready? Yep. Wow. Take pictures from here. So then after 20 seconds, it dumps it in automatically. We don't push the dump. Jeremy, come over here. Want to push the dump button again? Dump it, Jeremy. Wow. Huh. What is this? Dollar bills. Your picture hurts it back there. Yeah, I did. How you doing? I feel pretty good. How you doing? What are you doing down here today? <laughs> so am I. Uh, you got to take the Cape Lad, and then goes Cape Lad, Cannon Hill. You know the loop route. Take the Cape Lad to get back up there. Poor Cape Lad. You know where that's at? No. Oh, you know where? See where it says Lincoln Park bus over there? Okay, Jerry. Get, get driving. Do you have? Okay. Bring me one back. That'd be great. Because I was going to stop. Then you can pick me up down here. Okay. I'll watch for you. Go ahead and head down and out. 
Yeah, the last one. Throw me, yeah. Hi. Hi. This is Jim. Jim, Sean, you're going to have to watch this case then. Where are we going? I want to go into the Sherwood Mall a minute. You guys want to go? Or? Well, watch the case. Why don't you guys just stay here? Oh, okay. And you can film. Stop where you ended. Yeah, that's kind of neat, isn't it? Now. Come on. Now it's moving. No, you gotta take turns, Andrew. Yeah, because he goes, I want another one, I want another one, we go now. Come on! Get a picture of Andrew crying. He's getting it, Andrew. Where's the, uh... Don't put the... Come on, I'm going to put it Where's Andrew? Come on, you guys. I want you to go through the sprinkler. All right, all right. Quick, Andrew. Bring Come on, Andrew. Andy. Andy Pandy. Can, can they come in and watch it afterwards? I don't know, Jared. Come on, get out there. I, I don't want to have to do it. Come on, I want to see you, Jeremy. I know what's wrong too. The, how do you focus it right here? Where's that thing you focus it so I can see better? Alright, it's my turn! Yeah, Alright, here we turn! It's right here. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Fun! Yeah, that was out of focus too. You know how to do the, what do you call it real well, don't you? Zoom. Jeremy, come on. Hi there. No, it's my turn. Hey, Jeremy, get home. Yay! You know what you're supposed to do, guys? I want you to put it back on, then everybody just run through the water. All right, all right. Hey, get behind, get behind the show. Let's do it. Here we are. This is August uh, 7th. Uh oh, is she alright? Who is that? Is that okay? Go fix it, will you, Linda? You guys gotta be careful you don't hit the thing, okay? Yeah. Honey, you wanna make sure, is it alright? Yeah. Okay. Jamie, you alright? Is she alright? Yeah. Linda? Did you hurt yourself? Yeah. Huh? See, so you weren't supposed to touch that part, you're supposed to jump over that. <laughs> Jeremy, fix it. Can you fix the whole thing? You, is she all right? Oh okay. You ever hit the clown part? See that part that's got full of water? It's full of water. I know she didn't mean to, but... Come on, Jeremy. August the 7th, 1989. Hot summer day, it's about 90. Eight degrees out here. Here goes a landy. There's Jeremy. Go, Jer. about it. You don't tell me what to do, Jer.
Put your band-aid on. Where's Linda? Oh. Huh? I did. What? Let's turn mom on the take her. Ready? Come on, Jeremy, get over there. So is Jared Bear. Well, since last spring. No, we didn't. Oh, the camera? Are you talking about the camera or that? Oh, we got that a couple of years ago. That's old. I thought I'd take a picture of some of these kids so I'll have something to remember them by. Yeah, so Her babysitter has a slip and slide. She just loves that one. I have a sleep room set, or not a sleep room set, but a sleep room set. Oh! Oh! It fell off! Jeremy, what's the matter? They're up to 30 now, starting what, tonight? I wish. Just don't hit that thing. Now. Don't hit that deal with your feet. Five in a row. Oh, six in a row. Seven in a row. Eight in a row. Let it go, Andrea. Here, Andrea. Go, Andrea. Go, Andrea.
water right here. Well, me and Sarah are still. Come yeah, in. I think that was just come Sarah. Look at this mud there. I know, I gotta get the guys. It's you gotta get them to somewhere else. In the back. No, it's water. Turn you put it in my yard if you want. I got the grass all right. I gotta mow the lawn tomorrow night, so it's. No, we got mud there. It kind of sinks down here. There used to be a tree here. Oh. And I didn't fill it in when we took it down. That was years ago. I didn't know anything about it. Was that boring, man? Nope. Get down here. Ah! Ooh. Ah! Yeah, it is. I don't know if it should be on here. Does it matter? It's all right. Huh? It's all right. How come the E keeps splashing? Does it mean it's getting empty? Oh, no. Is it splashing now? Yeah. Huh? Yes. Oh, great. That means it wasn't charged up. Starting to flash off and on? Mm-hmm. That means the batteries are running down. See, Sean used it a lot, then he never charged it up. Did he? I guess we're going to have to stop it then. Can they come in and watch it? Not now. We can watch it another time. I want to take more pictures with the east. Is it still flashing? Oh, yeah. That means you're... Okay, here we go. Okay, guys. Uh -huh. Is it E? No, it, was, it said E, F, it had F on it. But I know it's not completely full. Yeah. Just try it off. No, we want to take pictures of you guys going through it, Jeremy. Come on, Jer. No, tell them to go up and down the other way, not run that way. We want to get your car. Hmm? Hurry up, Jer. Move your head up. You want to go on the other side of me? Okay. Come on, guys. Well, you better do it now. I don't have only so much. Uh, Oh, turn my watch off, please. Record now. Well, I could watch this, though. I know, I'm seeing. I'm watching. Go ahead. We're in Court Lane now, and it's getting windy. Hello, oh, Jeremy. August the 14th, 1989. Estra, having fun. Estra!
missed it. Am I dirty? Oh, I should have shown a little. Where? <laughs> Go ahead and try it, Astra. I, I... Jeremy, I don't want you hitting the dirt. Oh, well, that's fun. So the rest of them want to get back down. Jeremy, don't, start up don't get in the dirt. You're not going to slide, Robert. That's right, Bobby. <laughs> well, we want no starters, then quitters. Be a train, Sean. Get me on there? Yep. Oh. <laughs> I think they got it. 
The guy comes in, the little guy. Hey. I don't know when it's coming up, huh? Okay, take off record. I'll do it now. Take off record. Okay, that's just gonna do it once. Are you gonna get her? Yep. Get her going up. Got her on the zoomer. Yep. Did you get her? Yeah. That was great. I'm glad I did it. That's <laughs> all I want them. Here we are in Cordelin, downtown Cordelin. Trying to walk and take pictures isn't easy, my friends. Wow, there's Sonny Mike taking a drink. Esther going potty. And Jeremy going potty. Linda going potty. given to us by God because he take it on empire Life of a lifeguard. Where you were, Jeremy? Either I was around there way that dog over there. I can go. I can go pretty far. See, legs are over there. There, but then Get those teeth.
Estra pigging out. There's Jer Jer. JJ. Picture taken? Is the pee to go on the boardwalk? No. Just if you want to drink. Reading it too. Go ahead, thanks for Jim. I want that skinny figure. I'm gonna wait. Are we in the water, Mom? Are we on, on the, the water? water? No. We're on the boardwalk. Go ahead. No, we're walking behind you. Why? Go, we gotta take pictures. Boardwalk and Coeur d'Alene. Yeah. Taking off.
we were. Towards the end. Now towards the end of this boardwalk.
Oh, go ahead. Oh. Leave it, then I'll take it off, huh? Leave it on now for a little bit. Yeah. Take it off. Then I'll take it off. Thank you. 
pick up an apple on your way and then collect your board and stay up here. We're going to call the children up in grades. And stay up here and smile pretty so we can get your picture and all that good stuff. And if you have a chance and you're in the school this week or maybe even after our meeting tonight, you should take a walk down the hall by the front entrance. Marlene Clam, who is our chairman this year, does wonderful bulletin boards with all of your children's beautiful faces. And it's really, really special this month. So take a look if you get a chance. Okay, we're going to start with our kindergarten kids. In Mrs. Huntley's room, we have Rosanna Ray, Peter Capriel, and Jason Harwood. And in their afternoon, we have Brandon Williams, Alicia Dowell, and Natalie Barrett. In Miss Tat's room, we have Lacey Aubrey, Jeff Galinsky, and Sean Day. Jeremy McGrath and Travis Morris. And in Ms. Hyder's classroom, we had Christina Hoyne, Stephen Lundgren, and Kenny Smith. In Mrs. Reesburg's classroom, we had Kristen Carlson. Trisha, oh, wait, I get this one right. Villanueva, oh, that's a good one. And Jeremy Sigalski.
Huh? You've got video now. Who is that guy? Who is that masked man? <laughs> oh, we've had this for a year. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just went over, huh? Never had one. Haven't you? Yeah. I doubt if I'll ever get one, but it'd be interesting. Yeah, they are. It's, they can see it another time. Yeah. Have fun. Hi, Jer. He doesn't want to come. Oh, he can see another time, huh? Right? That's dummy. Let me show him in the front half. Hi, Jer. You smile big for the camera? There goes Uncle Dan. Ooh. 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 Can I take it down to Rise? Take what down a rise? I'll take a picture of everything here. The video? No, they can come and see it another time. I'm not going to let you take it down. She said he could, we could take it down. She has a VCR and stuff. Can't we take it down to see it? Can't we? Dad! Can't I, Dad? Come, Jeremy. Hey, now you're making me upset, so now I'll say no. I don't like these things going out of the house, out of the no, it's just, property. Uh, you know please. that. Marcia said she let me. But you what? Go down there and watch it. Cause Ryan didn't want to come all the way back down here. So I thought I could bring it down there and watch it. Can I? Not that way you can't. Can I please? Can I? Let me take a picture of you saying that. Can I? Please. Say it nice. Please. Please, can I? Whoa. Are you? Right. But obviously the weather didn't cooperate, so we've been moving things around in the classroom for two days to try and get ready for this. The children practiced outside a number of times, so we're a little, little rusty in here, but not too bad. We did all our dress rehearsals in here yesterday, so everything I think will probably go okay. I want to thank you all for helping with costumes. Um, the kids made, when you, when you see the chickens coming out, the kids made their costumes, and then a lot of you helped by just giving us, you know, white sweatshirts or black sweatpants or whatever. Um, Jeremy Johnson's family, you should recognize about six shirts going by. You donated all those shirts, so thank you very much. Okay, our first play is Henny Penny, and I'll turn it over to the two narrators. One day, Henny Penny was picking up corn in the barn when whack, something hit her on the head. Oh my, the sky's falling. I must go and tell the king. So she went over. So Henny Penny and Cocky Locky went to tell the king the sky was falling. They went along and they went along and they went along till they met Ducky Lucky. Where are you going, Henny Penny and Cocky Locky? Oh, I'm So Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, and Ducky Lucky went to tell the king the sky was falling. They went along and they went along till they met Goosey Goosey. Where are you going, Henny Penny and Cocky Locky? Oh, I'm going to tell the king the sky is falling. May I come with you? Yes, you may. So Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Goosey. All went to tell the king the sky was falling. They went along and they went along and they went along till they met Turkey Lurkey. Where are you going, Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Lurkey, Oh, we're going to tell the king the sky is falling. Yes, you may. So 
Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Lucky, Lucy Lucy, and Turkey Lurky all went to tell the King of the Sky's Fox. They went along, and they went along, and they went along till they met Fox Foxy. Where are you going, Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Lucky, Lucy Lucy, and Turkey Lurky? Oh, we're going to tell the King. But that is such a long way to the king. There is another much shorter way. Do you want me to lead you? Yes, please do. So they went along and they went along and they went along until they came to a dark hole on the side of a hill. Now this is Foxy Loxy's cave. Foxy Loxy said to Henny Penny, Cocky Loxy, Ducky Loxy, Goosey Lucy, and Turkey Larky. This is a short way to the king. I will go in first and you can come in after me one by one. So Foxy Loxy quickly went into his cave, but Foxy Loxy didn't go very far. He was hungry. He turned and waited for Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Turkey Lurky. Turkey Lurky was the first to go into the dark hole that led to the cave. He didn't go very far when Foxy Loxy snapped off his head. Then, you see Lucy go in. Snap, off went her head. Then, Ducky Lucky waddled down. Snap, off went Ducky Lucky's head. Then Cocky Locky marched into the hole, but Cocky Locky had time to warn Henny Penny. He called to her to save herself. Cocky Locky's head went snap. Henny Penny turned and ran off home. So Henny Penny never did get to tell the king the sky was falling. I'm Charles Dorky. I play narrator one. I'm Steven Swatter. I play narrator too. I'm Jessica Rapel. I play him. I'm Travis Morris. I play Cocky Lucky. I'm Trevor McNair. I play Ducky Lucky. I'm Molly Tooley and I play Goosey Lucy. I'm Chelsea Cameron and I play Ducky Lucky. I'm Joey Bryan and I play Foxy Lucky. All day the billy goat sleep and skipped on a rocky hill. When it became dark and chilly, the lad drove them home to the valley. Let's go home. He went to get the goats, but the frisky billy goats leaped over a railing into a turnip patch.
The bear tried and tried, but he had to give up. The billy goat stayed in the turnip patch. The little bear sat down on the rocky hillside next to the light and began to cry too. Along came a panther. tried to lead the billy goats away from the turtle patch. Finally, he had to give up. So the panther sat on the rocky hillside and began to cry too. <laughs> After a while, a tiny bee buzzed over the hill. Why do you cry? The lab is leading billy goats into the turtle patch, but they will not go with us while they cry. I can do it. Watch me. The animals and the lad all stopped crying. Oh, oh, oh. How can a tiny bee do it when we can't? You are really funny. But the tiny bee just buzzed away to the turnip patch. The bee landed on the first of the billy goats and stung it on the nose. Daddy, daddy! She landed on the other billy goat and stung them daddy. too. And away home ran the billy goats, every one of them. Wait for me, wait for me. <laughs> I'm Casey, I was the narrator. I'm Crystal, I played the rap. And Justin Rolo, I played the bill. I made a copy and I played the pack. I'm Dean McCauley, I played the I'm Emily Steele and I played the goat. I'm Gail Settlement and I played the lad. I'm Nick Trapp, I played the goat. I'm Nick Sabosky, I played the goat also. Okay, our next play is ready to go. And it is, it is called The Fisherman, and it has no narrator, so Jeremy will just start. Go ahead, Jeremy. Let's go fishing. Here's a good spot. I found my spot. This looks like a good spot. I'm at this spot. I'll take this spot. Here's a nice spot. No, this is my spot. Let's fish.
If I can find the one who is lost, will you stop your crying? Yes! yes. Abracadabra! One, two, three! Bring the fisherman back to me! Now let's see if it worked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you are all here! Yay! Yay. and welcome to the Spokane Arena and I'm your host this evening, Jeremy McGrath. And if you're all wondering, well, you've heard me talking about this over the time. And you're kind of like, oh, it's just a stupid arena. It's just a little model or something or something. You know, I, I don't even know what it is, but I'm criticizing this idea for no reason at all. So, here's what I'm going to say. Two words, you're wrong. Because this evening, I'm going to show you the owner, manager, the big cheese of the arena. Tonight, I'm going to show you every single last detail of the Spokane Arena you just saw. And the estimate of the seats, if you want to order seats, and everything that goes on in it. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the Spokane Arena. Okay, 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 I'm getting on with it, okay. Well, tonight, we're having a special, special show for you tonight. We're going to show each and every single last one of you what exactly is the Spokane Arena, okay? So, to get started with our show, I'm going to show you, first of all, our most popular thing that we have in, first of all, how the arena how the arena was made. Okay? Come on up. Come on. I'm going to show you how the arena was made. Okay? And how it can... Actually, I'm going to show you the different features. Okay? And I'm going to show you how I did those features. And then after that, I'm just going to show you a little bit more. So, here we go. The most popular feature. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is baseball time here at the Spokane Arena. As you can tell, it holds everything from baseball to every single last, every single last thing. The unique thing about this 
is that here is where we're taking a look from our outfield position. As you can see, sections 301, th 201, through 301, 201, 201, through 104, 204, and 304. Um, the highest point in this arena is 15 stories, which is the roof. Um, the top level there is three sto 10 stories high for the third level. Boy, I tell you, when you get to the top, it's worse than the kingdom, folks. You're gonna fall out of your seats. Okay, there's that look. Take a good look at that there. And now that I took down one of the walls here, as you can see, everything in this arena is movable. The walls come out, and everything, as you just saw. Now we're looking again at the scoreboard. We're going to take a close look at the scoreboard here so I can go through this right now. Okay, visitor scoreboard's right there on the bottom. Okay, if there's the home, right there, all those lines right there. That's the video wall. You can see an advertisement up there for McCollum Ford. Oh, I gotta zoom this thing here. McCollum Ford, there you can see the American flag, Canada flag. And we'll go over the sound system there at the bottom, secondly. But otherwise, it's pretty exciting out there. Yeah! Take a good look at the seats. Seat last row of the Spokane Rain. This is how scary it is. You know, down. It is. How straight down it is. Ten stories, folks. Football, anyone? Well, everyone loves nice, friendly game of football. But here in the arena, it is very, very, very easy. To get to know and love football more than it actually is. When we get to the sound system a little bit later, we have absolute surround sound here at the arena. From side. To side. To side. To side. Goodyear blimp. Pictures. for a game of basketball well this is the place to do it one of the biggest and nicest basketball courts in the world here at the Spokane Arena so again you see the most expensive hoops the two hoops the two benches and of course the thousands of seats around it So let's play ball! What about you, but hockey is one of our most famous sports here at the arena where every night there's a hockey game, it's all sold out. And people out here in the arena love it because it is their kind of game. Even though it takes four hours to make the ice and 20 minutes to melt it and have the other ground ready for the next game activity, hockey is one of our most favorite sports here at the 
Spokane Arena. And the McGrath Circus is, I'm going to tell you, is the most popular thing that has ever hit the Spokane Arena. The world's best, I repeat, and I will repeat, the best thing that ever comes to Spokane and the biggest thing that has ever hit the Spokane Arena. From flying pizzas to flying men running and breaking cement with their own bodies. Throwing a ball, a giant ball that is five stories high at a car on top of a 20 story building that is balanced by one cardboard. Flying people through the air to people standing up to 25 stories high in the air, falling to the floor where there are no paddings except the net he is standing on. Some of these things you will see on this tape coming up and you will see why. Over 4,000 animals and you, I repeat, you will know why this is the most biggest thing ever hit here. Here are some scenes from the McGrath Circus. And gentlemen, boys and girls, now is the most important and neatest stunt here. A man 35 stories in the air will plummet from way up here on the 35th floor. That's why the arena has no roof. Actually, it has a roof that will go on and off and it's all electronically controlled why it's why it's nice for baseball games then again higher than the roof will extend 35 stories high up in the air folks a man gonna fall to his death maybe this has been rehearsed many many times folks peoples people from mile around can see this man up in the air. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on the count of three, this large thing will come. This is a seat in the bottom row. Here's the seat in the top row. What it looks like here at the arena. Bottom row again. In three, two, one. This thing will start shaking and this man will fall. One, two, three. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. 35 stories is a long ways to drop. Folks. Boom! He falls! Is he alright? We'll check that out on our commercial break. There he is, folks. He is okay. And we'll be back right after this break for our second half of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back from our intermission break. After this second thing, what's going to happen here? Three major things. This is just the last grand finale. This man will jump. From here, over the 10 stories of the first wall, right onto that. Then we'll take a sheriff car, throw it off of that, onto that. Anything that's left standing will be hit by this guy way up here, 20 some stories in the air, aiming it at this 25 story high Ferrari that's sitting on the top of a tower with flying pizzas. First, the flying man will do his job. Will all this turn out? Well, we'll find out soon enough. So, here we are. Okay, let's get that flying man flying, why don't we? One, two, three, boosh! Oh, he crashed, oh, but he's okay. Three, boom! Oh, not as planted, but that is okay. Folks at home didn't get to see that very well. So, 
We're going to excuse them from that. We're going to try to have that man do that again. Boom. Oh, he hit down the other three way down there. I'm going to have to scoot him back a little bit. Boom. Oops, didn't quite do it yet. Here we go. Boosh. Oh, didn't quite make it over. Three, two, one, fast. Oh, hit the wall of the arena hard. Three, two, one, blast off. Oh, didn't quite make it yet. Here we go. Boosh. Oh, oh, knocked over some of the arena stuff. They'll be responsible for paying for that. Boosh. Oh, not quite yet. What's with these people? Okay, here we go. Boom. Not quite yet. Boom. Oh, yes. You saw that at home, folks. That man flew. Now, for the, the, the sheriff car flying through the air. Boosh. Yes. He flew. And you saw him yourself. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll now present the largest dog on the, anim on the side of the earth. Heidi McGrath! Woo! Come here, Heidi! Yeah! How you doing, sweetie pumpkin? You come here, you doodle trick! She wants to see the circus! Heidi, come here! Come here, say hi to the camera! This is the biggest puppy on earth! And she's the cutest, too! Isn't she just the cutest thing any you ever looked at? Okay, see you later, Hyde. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, now for the moment you've all been waiting for. The pizza will do its job here on the arena. Poosh, 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 poosh. Oh, they need... You, they need a refill on those pizzas, folks. Here we go. Poosh, poosh. Oh, they didn't all come out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, keep your eye on that Ferrari, because it will go down in no time. Poosh, 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 poosh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with five pizzas, that Ferrari shall go down. Poosh. Yeah! Woo! Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is what we are waiting for. See you next time at the McGraw Circus! Woo! Fast forwarding mode. How fast this arena building and the Shrine Circus will, or not the Shrine Circus actually, but the circus will clean up its mess. Take a look at it, folks. It's quite messy. I don't say so myself. And you'll look now at the layering of the Spokane Arena. Fast motion, how fast this stuff will go down. Here we go!
Oh, once the Shrine Circus leaves, the Colosseum, the Spokane Arena, is back in the shape it originally was. Now, let's say you want to come here and see a concert. Well, we have additional seating when you have concerts. The additional seating is around 1,440 1, seats extra. You'll see those in the middle. Okay, there's a stage. There's the stage right there. The seats around the stage, those are additional seatings down there if you wanted to know. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about, um, like, every last detail like I was talking about right now. Okay, we have 12 lights that have up to 20 lights on one light outlet, and they're located in purple. Two one end, four, two down here, and then four along there, too. Two speakers on this side. The speakers are very, very big, over four stories high. They can blast enough. Okay, the front speakers, the front speakers for concerts are those two things sticking up, and that thing down there right behind the thing, it looks like speakers. Okay, now I'm going to tell you what the video wall is for. If there's a wave or something going on, a replay when you're playing hockey or baseball or something, that's the thing that will do let you do that. And those, that's the speakers. That's, that's it for the speakers up there. The speakers in the back are these little things. I don't know if you can see them right there. Right next to seat 201 and two, 301 and 301. It's little lines on both ends there. Those are two five-story high, six-story high, excuse me, speakers that we have. Very loud. And then you've also been asking me, well, what's that thing right there? That's the thing that shines light on the stage. That's the control tower. Everyone works in there that works in there. Sometimes occasionally, that's why it's a little fold right there, a little paper thing. reason that's like that is just because the Shrine Circus left and they left a din in it. And that's easy to come out. And you just see little things, we're advertising for Pizza Pipeline, Radio Shack, Q's and A's, the Spokane Arena, um, Creme 2, Pepsi, Coke, and everything. So now that you know about the arena, how do we change things? Now, normally when the stage goes down, which I'm going to take it down real quick and show you. Normally, as you've seen before, I had little cards underneath these. These are just little layer things, okay? And then when you take the floor out, it's real easy. It comes out in one. Everything, I repeat, everything that we've used before is located in there. So, wrapping things up here, the thing I want to tell you, Shrine's people don't bring their own things. Everything that the Shrine has is located in a storage, located near the arena, in little barns. And, um, we're just going to take a drive around the arena, so enjoy it. Back side there, just put Canarina down there. What you like best if it's basketball, to circuses, to hockey, to baseball, to football, to concerts, to zero, nothing at all. Everything taken down. Like I said, the roof and everything is portable. Look at that. There's all the walls right there, folded down with the seats. All the equipment you need, located in the barns. All this, just to make you happy here in Spokane. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeremy McGrath, signing off from...